Top 10 Fascinating Facts About Michael Schumacher, Formula 1 Discover how Michael Schumacher became a Formula 1 legend, from his impressive debut to his seven world championships. Explore the most fascinating facts of his career in this brief yet intense journey through the history of an unparalleled champion. Number 10. Promising Beginnings When Michael Schumacher made his Formula One debut at the Belgian Grand Prix in 1991, few could have anticipated the monumental impact he would have on the world of motorsport. At just 22 years old, Schumacher stepped into the Jordan Ford single-seater as a last-minute replacement for Bertrand Gacho, who was unable to compete due to legal issues. Despite his lack of F1 experience, Schumacher surprised everyone by qualifying seventh, outperforming his more experienced teammate and many other established drivers, demonstrating his innate driving ability and quick adaptation to the demands of high-level competition. However, Schumacher's debut was marked by a technical disappointment. Although he started the race from a promising position, his run was abruptly interrupted on the first lap by a clutch failure. Despite this setback, his performance in qualifying left a lasting impression. His ability to handle the pressures of F1 with such skill from the beginning indicated that Schumacher was no ordinary talent. This event was just a prelude to what would be an exceptional career, marking the beginning of a new era in Formula One where Schumacher would become synonymous with speed, precision, and success. Schumacher's determination was evident not only in how he handled his debut but also in how quickly he secured a spot on the Benetton Ford team for the following race. His meteoric rise in Formula One was a testament to his exceptional focus and ability to capitalize on every opportunity, regardless of the mechanical or competitive challenges he faced. This relentless spirit would be a constant throughout his career, proving that even from his humble beginnings, Schumacher was destined for greatness in motorsport. Number 9. First Grand Prix Win Just a year after his Formula One debut, Michael Schumacher proved that his impressive initial performance was no fluke. In 1992, at the same spa franker Champs circuit where he had started his F1 career, Schumacher achieved his first Grand Prix victory. This race not only marked Schumacher's first F1 win but also solidified his relationship with the Belgian track, which would witness many of his future feats. Spa Franker Champs, known for its unpredictable weather and demanding curves, is one of the most respected tracks on the F1 calendar, and winning there requires both technical skill and strategic audacity. The 1992 race was particularly challenging due to the changing track conditions. Schumacher, driving for the Benetton Ford team, showed notable maturity and judgment by opting for slick tires at a crucial point in the race when the track began to dry. This strategic decision allowed him to advance past his rivals and maintain the lead, despite intense pressure from more experienced drivers behind him. This victory not only highlighted his ability to make decisions under pressure but also showed his deep understanding of race dynamics, a trait that would characterize him throughout his career. What's remarkable about this victory is that it was the first of many that Schumacher would accumulate at Spa, earning him the nickname, the King of Spa, in subsequent years. The early triumph at Spa Franker Champs was a turning point for Schumacher, helping to cement his reputation as an exceptionally talented and tactically astute driver. This early success was crucial for his confidence and set a precedent for his approach in future races, always seek the advantage, no matter the circumstances. Number 8. Dominance in Monaco The Monaco Grand Prix is known for being one of the most glamorous and technically challenging events on the Formula One calendar. The narrow streets of Monte Carlo, combined with tight corners and abrupt changes in elevation, make this circuit a formidable test for any driver. Michael Schumacher excelled particularly in Monaco, winning the prestigious event five times during his career. His first victory in Monaco in 1994 was a display of pure skill and determination, traits that defined him as one of the greats of F1. Schumacher not only won in Monaco but dominated the circuit in a way few drivers have managed. His victories in 1994, 1995, 1997, 1999, and 2001 highlighted his exceptional ability to maneuver in one of the most restrictive and technically demanding environments in F1. 
Schumacher's ability to maintain concentration on a circuit where the slightest error can result in an accident demonstrated his exceptional capacity to handle pressure. Each victory in Monaco reinforced his reputation not only as a fast driver but as an extremely skilled one in managing the complexities of the race. Schumacher's dominance in Monaco can be attributed to his meticulous preparation and deep understanding of the car dynamics in relation to the circuit. His focus on technical perfection, combined with aggressive race strategy and a unique ability to quickly adapt to changing track conditions, allowed him to maximize performance on a circuit where the margins for error are almost non-existent. These victories not only added to his legend but also showed how a driver can influence the outcome in a sport often dominated by technology. Schumacher understood and exploited every facet of Monaco, solidifying his status as one of the masters of the most iconic Grand Prix in F1. Number 7. Emblematic Rivalries Formula One is not only known for its technological advancements in exciting races but also for the intense rivalries between drivers that have defined generations. Michael Schumacher, throughout his career, was involved in several rivalries, but none as emblematic as the one he maintained with British driver Damon Hill. This rivalry developed during the mid-90s and became one of the most followed and thrilling duels in Formula One. Hill and Schumacher faced each other on numerous occasions, but the climax of their rivalry was reached during the 1994 season, particularly at the Australian Grand Prix, where a controversial clash between them decided the championship in favor of Schumacher. This rivalry was more than a series of competitive races, it was a clash of styles and personalities. While Hill was seen as a calculating and technical driver, Schumacher was fiercely competitive and sometimes relentless in his approach. The on-track battles between these two drivers not only attracted the attention of fans but also polarized followers and experts of the sport. Each race where Hill and Schumacher faced off became a spectacle, with both drivers pushing their limits and often the boundaries of the rules. The impact of this rivalry on the world of Formula One was profound. It elevated the profile of the sport, attracting viewers who reveled in the intensity of their competition. Moreover, it highlighted the psychology of motor racing, where the pressure can bring out the best and worst in drivers. Through their encounters, Schumacher demonstrated not only his prowess behind the wheel but also his ability to handle and sometimes manipulate the dynamics of the races. His rivalry with Hill, marked by moments of brilliance and controversy, was a masterclass on how determination and strategy are crucial in the pursuit of the world championship. Number 6. Consecutive Championships The era of absolute dominance by Michael Schumacher in Formula One began in 2000, marking one of the most impressive streaks in the history of the sport. From 2000 to 2004, Schumacher and the Ferrari team dominated the category, achieving five consecutive world championships. This period not only highlighted the synergy between a driver and his team but also demonstrated Schumacher's ability to adapt and excel under the pressure of staying on top season after season. During these five years, Schumacher not only won races but also set multiple records, including the highest number of victories in a season, which he achieved in 2002 with 11 wins and in 2004 with 13 wins. Schumacher's ability to extract the maximum performance from his Ferrari, combined with the tactical mastery of the team led by Jean Tote and the technical genius of chief designer Ross Braun, created an almost invincible team. Each race during this period was a display of strategy, precision, and endurance, with Schumacher often outpacing his competitors in both speed and tactics. What's remarkable about this dominance was not just the number of victories but the way Schumacher achieved them. Often facing and surpassing formidable rivals like Mika Hakkinen and later Fernando Alonso, Schumacher demonstrated his ability to compete under any circumstances, whether starting from pole position or coming from less favorable positions. His ability to maintain focus and performance in crucial races helped Ferrari establish itself as the dominant force in Formula One during this time, with Schumacher at the center, dictating the pace and strategy in every lap of the way. Number 5. Pole Position Records Michael Schumacher was not only a master in races but also a formidable competitor in qualifications, achieving a total of 68 pole positions throughout his career. 
This impressive figure kept Schumacher at the top of the pole record until he was surpassed by Lewis Hamilton in 2017. Each pole position achieved by Schumacher not only gave him a tactical advantage in the race but also demonstrated his ability to extract maximum performance from his single-seater in a single fast lap, a critical skill in Formula One. The qualifying process is often a test of nerves and precision, where drivers must perfectly balance risk and control to achieve the fastest possible lap. Schumacher excelled in this aspect, using his deep knowledge of the car and the tracks to maximize every sector of the circuit. His ability to anticipate and adapt to changing track conditions, whether due to weather or asphalt wear, made him a formidable competitor in the qualifying session, often securing leading positions that he then capitalized on in the race. Schumacher's ability to obtain pole positions also reflects his intense preparation and dedication. Working closely with his team, he meticulously analyzed performance data and adjusted his driving style and vehicle setup specifically for each circuit. This meticulous attention to detail not only improved his chances of leading from the first lap but also intimidated his rivals, who knew that facing Schumacher on pole was a monumental challenge. This facet of his career is a testament to his legendary concentration and technical mastery, qualities that highlighted him not only as a racing champion but also as a master of qualifying. Number 4. Victory Record Michael Schumacher set a monumental record in Formula One by accumulating a total of 91 Grand Prix victories, a mark that remained unmatched until Lewis Hamilton surpassed it in 2020. This impressive number of victories not only reflects Schumacher's skill and consistency on the track but also his extraordinary career and the lasting impact he has had on the sport. Each victory by Schumacher was a demonstration of his ability to dominate a variety of circuits and conditions, adapting to the constant technological and regulatory changes in Formula One over the decades. Schumacher's victories spanned an era of intense competition and technological development, facing rivals such as Ayrton Senna, Damon Hill, Mika Hakkinen, and later Fernando Alonso and Kimi Raikkonen. His ability to emerge victorious across different generations of motorsport underscores his adaptability and technical competence. Whether it was raining or the race was on a notoriously difficult circuit like the Nürburgring or Suzuka, Schumacher found a way to extract the maximum from his car and himself to achieve victory. The significance of this victory record lies not only in the number but in how Schumacher achieved them. He was known for his meticulous preparation before each race, studying every detail of the circuit and working closely with his engineers to fine-tune his vehicle to perfection. Additionally, his ability to remain calm under pressure and execute complex strategies during the race allowed him to seize every opportunity on the track, whether a perfectly timed pit stop or a bold overtaking maneuver. These skills, combined with his fierce determination, made him not just a great winner but a legend in the history of Formula One. Number 3. The King of Spa Michael Schumacher earned the title of The King of Spa due to his unprecedented dominance at the spa franker Champs circuit, one of the most challenging and respected on the Formula One calendar. Schumacher achieved a total of six victories at this Belgian track, a feat that not only underlines his exceptional skill as a driver but also his deep connection with this circuit. Spa is known for its variable weather, long straights, and famous curves like Eau Rouge, where speed and bravery determine who emerges victorious. Schumacher's skill at Spa was evident from his first victory in 1992, which also marked his first victory in Formula One. This track seemed to bring out the best in Schumacher, whose driving technique perfectly matched the high-speed and technical precision demands required. At Spa, Schumacher not only competed against other drivers but also challenged the limits of physics with his bold driving, especially in curves where handling at high speeds is crucial. His triumphs at Spa were both a demonstration of technical prowess and courage, traits that defined his career. Additionally, Schumacher had a special ability to handle the changing weather conditions at Spa, often transitioning from rain to sun in a single race. This ability to quickly adapt to different track conditions and make accurate tactical decisions at critical moments allowed him to maximize his performance and secure key victories at this circuit. 
Each victory at Spa strengthened his legend and reaffirmed his status not only as a master in handling pressure but also as an exceptional strategist, whose race decisions often led him to the podium. Number 2. Return to F1 After retiring at the end of the 2006 season, the Formula One world thought it had seen the last of Michael Schumacher in a race car. However, in a surprising turn of events, Schumacher announced his return to competition in 2010, this time with the Mercedes team. This comeback not only shook the world of motorsport but also brought back one of its greatest champions. Although he did not add more victories to his impressive record during this period, his return was significant for several reasons, highlighting Schumacher's enduring passion for competition and his influence on the sport. Upon returning to F1, Schumacher faced new challenges, including adapting to significant changes in regulation and the technological advancement of cars. Despite these difficulties and not being at the peak of his career, he showed moments of brilliance that reminded fans of the old Schumacher. His ability to compete with much younger drivers and his work with Mercedes helped develop the team, setting the stage for the future success of Lewis Hamilton with Mercedes. Schumacher's influence during this period was more than just his performance on the track, it was also mentorship and team development. This comeback also demonstrated Schumacher's dedication and commitment to his sport, a trait that has always characterized him. Despite adversities, such as the lack of a competitive car and criticism from those who doubted his ability to compete at the highest level at his age, Schumacher persevered. His time at Mercedes culminated without the victories that many expected, but his legacy as one of the most influential and dedicated drivers in F1 was reinforced. His passion for competition and commitment to motorsport remained intact, highlighting his return not for the trophies won but for the indomitable spirit he showed until the end of his career in F1. Number 1. Seven World Titles Michael Schumacher reached a milestone in the history of Formula One that very few drivers can match, winning seven world championships. This impressive feat not only underlines his dominance on the track but also his ability to stay on top across different eras and regulations in the sport. Schumacher won his titles in 1994, 1995, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, and 2004, competing with teams like Benetton and Ferrari, and each championship reaffirmed his place as one of the greatest and most respected drivers in the history of motorsport. Schumacher's career is marked by a mix of natural talent, tireless work ethic, and a sharp strategic mind. His ability to analyze and adapt to race conditions, combined with his intense preparation and focus, allowed him to consistently outperform his competitors. The acquisition of his titles was not just the result of his driving skill but also his ability to work closely with his team to maximize car performance across a variety of conditions and circuits. This synergy between driver and team was crucial for his successes. The achievement of his seven world titles is not only a testament to his technical prowess but also his determination and resilience. In the sport of Formula One, where competition is fierce and the margins for error are minimal, Schumacher repeatedly demonstrated his ability to overcome challenges and emerge as the best in the world. Each world title he won contributed even further to cementing his legacy as a sports legend, setting standards that would be the goal for future generations of drivers. The magnitude of this accomplishment highlights not only his dominance during an era but his enduring status as an icon of global motorsport.